What's going on all thanks for tuning in once again let's talk about wilder's return deontay wilder looking to return back at heavyweight you know i mean i'm i'm all for it you know although we haven't seen wilder um look good in the last couple of fights um since the hellenius knockout you know he hasn't really looked himself um he is one of those guys that did big bring back you know heavyweight boxing you could say that he is the number one American heavyweight you know in terms of pay-per-view buyers and you know getting the most attention um so I mean I'm I'm all for it. I mean he did start late I always said that you know he started late he's got a lot of mileage left I just think that he needs to just start um a new chapter you know like Jazul was saying you know um get a new trainer get a knockout win, you know, and just start new, you know, start fresh. I think that Wilder can definitely turn his career around, but he just needs the right people in his corner. I don't think that um, Jazora, sorry, um, Malik Scott is the guy for the job. You know, he's basically lost his last two fights with being the coach of Wilder's. Um, and his reaction to his last loss, you know, as soon as Wilder got knocked out, or knocked down I should say, you know, he gets back up and then gets counted out, you know, um, Scott's running to Zang's corner, celebrating with Zang's trainer, you know, it just seems like he's not the right guy for the job, you know, he's more of a technical trainer, I think that Wilder needs someone that's going to teach him defence and show him how to, you know, set up the right hand a bit better. I don't think boxing is the answer for Wilder. I think it's, you know, having that that fighting um, spark back, you know, where he wants to knock guys out, where he's more comfortable throwing the right hand um, based off instincts instead of trying to, you know, be too calculated with it, you know. And, and I think Scott's just feeding him a bit too much information in the corner and not letting him just do what he does best, which is swing swing and land so I think someone like uh, you know even a foreman will be good you know foreman was a guy that had good defense but you know he he knew how to um, he knew how to land you know those big punches and really you know break guys down you know the cross handed um, defense sort of thing you know we have the two arms up crossed over, you know, things like that, you know, he's got to protect himself better when he's throwing, um, you know, he's just too vulnerable when it comes to trying to land the, the right hand, you know, and we've seen now, you know, he got dropped from Zhang, you know, really bad um, technique through the through the right hand and basically he's off balance, you see his uh, left foot, you know, off the floor when he's throwing, you know, so he's not really planting his feet down when he's throwing the right, the right hand. And, you know, that that's what basically made him spin around, um, just not throwing it with the right technique um, and overthinking things, you know, overthinking things because of, you know, what he's trying to bring, you know, he's trying to outbox a silver medalist or trying to outthink a silver medalist where he needs to just, you know, land the right hand um, clean. You know, there's no secret that Wilder's not going to win the rounds, you know. His strategy is knockouts, isn't it? All his fights has been by knockout, hasn't it? You know, except for the, obviously, the one that he had with Stavern going the distance and Tyson Fury, you know, the the draw that they had. But, you know, the the main thing for Wilder, you know, coming back... Uh, moving forward is just trying to, like I say, get get a different trainer, and also you know, changing the training method. You know those, the one two combinations and things like that. You know that's a bit too basic. You know I think he should um, go back to the swimming. You know I used to see Wilder doing the swimming training and and things like that. You know I mean he might still be doing it, but I just think that he should be focus more on that, you know, we know that he does have the right hand, we know he does have the right hand, so I think he should focus on conditioning the mind, you know, um, instead of just throwing one-two combinations, 
Um, and of course, defense. You know, defense is key for Wilder. You know, you can't really take big punches from these heavyweights. Um, so I mean, there's a couple of fights lined up. I know that Turkey wants him to fight Jazura. You know, that was rumored. You know, Jazura is looking to have 50 fights coming off the Joyce win. You know, that's a good fight for him because you know Jazura is going to be coming forward. He's going to be throwing everything at Wilder. So. It's a good way to work on his defense, you know. Then he's got the the easier option in Ganu, you know, that's just basically put his hand up recently to fight Wilder. Um, you know, Joshua knocks him out two rounds, and that basically, you know, put Joshua, believe it or not, you know, within a a title shot, you know, by beating in Ganu. Um, so. Two good fights for Wilder, you know, I mean, the Ngannou fight's really a, a guaranteed knockout. I think it's the Jazora fight will be better for him. Maybe the Ngannou fight make, may, may make more money, um, just because, you know, two two punches. The Jazora fight, um, like I say, good way for Wilder to work on his defense. I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, Wilder versus Ruiz, but Ruiz did break his hand. Um, I don't think that he should be fighting a guy that can box and and punch, you know. So, I mean, challenging Nagano is all good because, you know, he's not really much of a boxer. He's only had the, you know, the, the one uh, fight with Tyson Fury and obviously the two losses, oh, sorry, the, the loss to Joshua. So, I mean, he hasn't really had much boxing experience, you know, where um, that's, that's fun for him to fight him, you know, um, fighting a puncher like Nagano. But I think, you know, he definitely needs to, to fight a guy that's going to come forward, that, that's going to help him mould his defence, you know, so you can avoid these shots and counter, you know, with the right hand. Because, let's face it, you know, the heavyweight division, you know, a lot of punches, Joshua, Naba Coley's in there, Zile Zhang, you know, a lot of big punches, Dubois, you know, getting his shot. You know, um, so I mean, Wilder, really needs to work on his defense, you know, moving forward. And, of course, you know, landing that right hand, he can't just throw it, miss, and then get countered, you know. It seems like he has lost some punch resistance from Fury. You know, he has lost it. Um, and it's also, you know, a combination of the training. You know, you see him training most of the time. He's throwing the one-twos. You don't really see him... Um, on defense, you know, so with swimming, I think that will help him with his coordination, you know, getting his coordination a bit better. Um, that's why I mentioned the swimming. But um, moving forward, you know, it's most likely we will see Chisora versus Wilder. Um, and let me know what you think of Wilder's return anyway. You know, what do you think of him? coming back, do you think it's the right move? Do you think he still has not You know, that's a big question. Does he still have that spark, you know, that he wants to um, be himself, really, you know, be himself in the ring, you know, don't take, you know, don't try to change his career around because he lost to a, a boxer like Fury, you know. Um, I don't think that's the answer to box. I think the answer is to work on defence and, most importantly, Land the right hand, you know, land it. Um, but, yeah, it'll be good to see him, you know, get a knockout win. Um, coming back, I don't think it's good for any boxer to retire off a loss, especially a guy like Wilder, you know, he's known for knockouts. It'll be good to see him finish his career with a knockout, but I, I still think that he has a couple of years left in him till he's 40, you know, he did start late. Still has a lot of mileage in the clock, in my opinion. So let's see it, you know, let's see who you fights next. Um, look forward to the comments and I'll catch you next time. Peace.